Welcome to the Omnibus Show, a program for people who are interested in everything, conversations on a wide variety of subjects. And now your host, Dave Gibbs. Well, hello, and welcome to this episode of the Omnibus Show, the program for people who are interested in everything, with deep conversations on a wide variety of subjects. I'd like to welcome today's guest, Marissa Andretti who is Vice President of Andretti Sport and Managing Director of Andretti Technologies. She also oversees the team's philanthropic initiatives via the Michael Andretti Foundation. She comes from a long line of M. Andrettis, Mario, Michael, Marco, and Marissa. The family is legend in IndyCar racing. Welcome, Marissa. Thank you. Thank you again for having me today. It's great to have you here. Well, we'll roll right into Chapter 1. And uh, what an amazing legacy um, you're a part of. Oh, thank you. You uh, you joined the family business in 2015. Please tell us about your journey in Andretti Autosports. Yeah, um, well, I can't believe it uh, is already, gosh, over nine seasons ago now. Um, I feel as though I've aged quite a bit since then. Uh, I originally started as a client relations representative mm-hmm. um, and basically worked my way up since then. So started just, you know, at the, the very beginning of trade deals and technical deals and, um, you know, working with our, our partners in that regard, then ended up uh, client servicing at one point all of our primary sponsors and then took on a lot of the, um, you know, the classic credentialing hotels, all of, all of those things that come with it. Um, And then grew into the operations side a bit more, uh, took on a lot of the branding as well. Eventually, just over time, it kind of comes hand in hand. Um, Essentially would step back and kind of look at everything as a whole to learn as much as I can, but really look at different inefficiencies and and ways to uh, improve as much as possible with uh, with what we had at the time. So uh, we've obviously come very far since then and continuing to grow. Um, we, uh, we also, I mean, as of today, I mean, I can, I can wait until your, your later questions, but, um, as of today, we're in seven different racing series, uh, and continuing to forever diversify, but, um, it is diverse. yeah, um, which I can go into in a bit, but the, the interesting piece has just been the, the amount of growth, which has been tremendous. Um, and then I, you know, I kind of, I kind of got to the point where I was like, I want more, I want more, I want to keep learning, give me whatever and everything. And I was just across the board into as much as I could just really have an interest in the, the, you know, the business side of things in full, quite honestly. It sounds Um, like you do everything. (laughs) uh, A little bit of everything. I think we all do for sure. And that's what makes a great team. We all wear many hats. Um, For for as many many things as we're into, we are fairly lean. Um, Again, efficient where we can be. Sure. Um, but yeah, so I, I then grew a bit more, um, into the operation side of things. So I'm across at the moment, I'm across all of our, um, all of our different racing series on the commercial side. And then I also serve as managing director of Andretti Technologies, which is essentially like our R and D, uh, and innovation arm of the company, mm-hmm. um, and really trying to draw together the commercial and competition sides of our team. And then, uh, head up our charitable initiatives as well with the Michael Andretti foundation. That's incredible. You do, you do an amazing amount. Now I have to ask you though, Marissa, did you ever want to race? <laughs> I actually get that uh, question quite often. Uh, me personally, no, I'm good. <laughs> um, leave that to my brother Marco, and I'm cool. I'm cool with just going for a ride with him. That's I'm okay with that. Um, has never really been my thing, honestly. I've always been interested in the the business side of it. Um, I I mean, this is a silly story, but even as a small child, I have memories of like being outside in a go-kart or whatever it was at the time of like, no, three more hours, seven more tanks of gas later. And it's like, please, can I go inside? <laughs> so I was I get good it. on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's great. Um, you've already started on it, but I was going to ask the next, quest- next question I was going to have for you is, you know, uh, inform us because you've done so much. That's a lot to do. When you're in the midst of doing those um, projects, it's like you just 
you get used to it and you're like, yeah, I do all of this, but you really do a lot. Would you please educate us on, on the Andretti Autosport, Andretti Technologies, and the, found, and the Michael Andretti Foundation? Yeah, of course. Um, so first of all, I mean, amazing team. That's how we're able to do as much as we do in full. Um, but it, from the, the team side of things, as I mentioned, we are in seven different racing series as of today, That's right? Amazing. So yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. How, how many racers do you have at oh, this gosh, time? Oh gosh, I'd have to um, count, uh, I would say over 20 drivers. <laughs> Um, but I would have to count, quite That's a honestly, big which is crazy. Um, but continuing to grow. So, um, as you know, and had already mentioned, of course, with IndyCar, we have our four full time drivers. And then um, my brother Marco actually drives for us for the Indy 500 yes. as an Indy 500 one off still. Um, so that's just IndyCar, and then we also have our four Indy Next drivers. So that is the the young the young like young drivers before you go fully pro to IndyCar or wherever else. Um, and you know, that is to really foster that talent pipeline, whether sure. it be drivers or mechanics, engineers, uh, commercial individuals and things like that. So, um, it's a lot of fun and, uh, a, a lot of growth there. So it's, it's very fascinating. Um, and then we also have, um, well, there's there's a lot to go through, so sorry. Sure, no, no. <laughs> to just roll, I'm, I'm roll wanting into to all learn. Of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but so we are also in sports cars and growing there. We actually just bought into Wayne Taylor Racing, so uh, growing there as well. And then we are in Formula E, so that is with two drivers, and that's out of the UK, and that's all electric racing in wow. basically downtown Metro City areas. Um, and then we are also in Extreme E, which is all electric as well, but SUV racing in um, extremely devastated parts around the world affected by global warming. Okay. So it, it's a fascinating, um, fascinating platform to, to be able to bring awareness to sustainability and um, just really, we, we really try and leave as a series as well, you know, not just a team in the series, but we try and leave the, the area better off than we found it. Great. So it's fascinating. Um, and then we are also in Super Copa, which is in Mexico, which is a joint venture um, or joint partnership, I should say, with Michelle Jordan, who used to actually race with my dad, Michael, back in the day. Um, and then we also have a joint venture with um, our Australian Supercars team. So with Walkinshaw and Dread United, we have a, a team down under as well. We have drivers in all of that. And then uh, we also have, I know we were talking about Dan Weldon earlier, just a little mm -hmm. bit ago. Yes. Um, and he's near and dear, you know, to, to our family and just was a good friend of mine as well. But so he uh, has two beautiful sons who are ridiculously talented. Uh, so they're a part of our driver development programs as well as little, little That's young great. ones. Yeah, so they're, and they're killing it. My gosh, they're so talented. It's crazy. So, yeah, in our driver roster as well. <laughs> that's, that's just incredible. Um, and then for Andretti Technologies, as I mentioned, it's our innovation and R&D arm of the company, uh, working to, to pull together the competition commercial side of things and, and work on new projects uh, in motorsport as well as outside of, uh, which is quite an interesting challenge. So have a handful of partnerships there, um, some that you may or may not know of already with like Meyer Shank Racing. Um, so we, you know, we provide all of our engineering and damper uh, expertise, let's say, on those cars. So mm -hmm. when uh, Elio won the Indy 500, that was all of our guys with their team and things like that. So super fascinating. Uh, and then with Andretti Technologies, we uh, we also have a partner with Zapata uh, Computing. So getting us basically quantum ready with all of our data, which is fascinating. Some of the smartest people on this planet uh, that we work with. And then uh, we also have a partnership with a company by the name of Cooler Technology. So battery safety, thermal management, um, some of their technology was actually on the Mars rover. And uh, they were originally an Andretti Technologies partnership that um, I'm just proud to say I was able to, to grow into our Extreme E program as well for a sponsorship that, you know, paired with the ATEC side. That's but great. then also uh, as a primary sponsor on my brother Marco's car for the Indy 500. So it's That's kind of fabulous. Kinda cool because it touches all of it. That's <laughs> great. Now, yeah. So would do the cars? See, I'm not a, a racer. I, I I know peripheral knowledge about the racing, but so would that all those technologies 
kind of be it's informative for the, the team management and see Marco's on the car and he's got all of the screen. Nope. So for, for what you're mentioning in terms of the cooler technology partnership, it's totally separate. So okay. we have a, a, a handful of different projects we work on with them, just Android Technologies. Okay. And then they basically are a sponsor of Extreme E and then a sponsor on Marco's car for okay. the 500. Yeah, so it's all separate, but it's just sure. once you get in, get in our sponsor fold, you really are a part of the family and you're in it for the long haul. And like we do as much as we can to connect those dots and for cross pollination and things like that because you know you're, you're stronger together, right? So, yes. Yeah. Very much so. <laughs> well, that's fabulous. Yeah. And anything on your father's foundation? Yeah, uh, so um, it's really just, you know, heading up all of our charitable initiatives across the board for our race team. So whether that be with partners uh, or hosting events on our own, mm -hmm. uh, but we, we just basically give back to different markets that uh, honestly have supported mm -hmm. all, Michael throughout all of his years in his career and, and give back to that. So any way that we can, we can help support, we try to at that point in time. That's great. <laughs> Now, um, we talked a little bit about it earlier, but when, when, when I was a child, when I was a child, I used to go out and play with my friends in the yard, and then I came back and I would lay on the brown couch in our living room, and I used to watch the wide world of sports, and um, I remember your grandfather would race. I was little. I was a puppy, and I remember watching your, your grandfather race, and um, I know that he won the Indy 500 in 69. Did I think that was he won that one time, right? Yeah, it was yeah. an exciting era. Um, do you have a fun Mario story for our listeners that oh, you'd like to share? Goodness, big that question. you can share with there's, us. There's honestly, there's so many stories. Um, Mario is the greatest, he's he's so much fun, and he's such a kid at heart, and his passion is contagious. Um, I don't know if I could just pick one specific story. Uh, I would share that my favorite, um, because this is my personal favorite. It's not a specific story because it's been over many years, but so he has an ultralight that he flies uh, at our lake house in the Poconos, and it is like my all-time favorite thing to, to take a ride in with him. That's I great. think I have like the most amount of hours <laughs> with him up there. Um, so I would say that is my most favorite because when I was younger, uh, we would be up in the ultralight, and are you familiar with what an ultralight is necessarily? Um, it's basically a, a plane that is a little. fully exposed. Like, like you are just, your toes are dangling, really. Well, mine, because I'm very short. My feet aren't long enough to go on the pedals. So I have to, like, pitch them over the bar and just hope for the best. Gotcha. Um, but what, uh, what is my favorite is when I was younger, because I used to, it was up at our lake house in the Pocono. So, like, I would just be in a bathing suit and throw a life vest on and an open face helmet with some well, I would throw flip-flops on him. My dad would make me put sneakers on at least, and then it was okay. Um, but we would go up in the, the ultralight and fly every night, and I would always try and be the first one in line to get a ride before, like, anybody else. Um, if there were new people, I would let them go for a ride. But any time there weren't, I was always, <laughs> I was always up there. Um, but whenever I was younger, he used to always, like, tap me to, like, as we're up there. And it's super loud. You, it's hard to talk, right? And he would always tap me and be like, okay, go ahead, like, to grab the joystick and go ahead and fly on my own. And I would wow. be like, no, 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 it's okay. And he, he would just tap me and just point. And I would go, no, no, no. So he would just put his hands up and just look away. <laughs> And I would be like, no, 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 and like would grab it every time. And then I would start flying and like be so scared because why am I flying it <laughs> as like a 12 year old or whatever it was? So That's fun. It was just, he's so silly. And there were, there's just, there's so many fun stories. I don't think I could just pick one. <laughs> yeah, but that's just a great story. I, I love that. That would, I wish I could have done that with my grandfather. He, yeah, he's that's a lot of so fun. fun. Um, at our uh, lake house in the Poconos, actually, he, he has some of my most favorite toys ever of all time. So I would say my other favorite story would be um, growing up, he, uh, well, and still he has a uh, dune buggy. Wow. That is just like the most beautiful thing ever of all time and we love it but whenever we were younger um we would always just beg him to like take us for ice cream in it or whatever it may be and it was just always you had such a fun ranting. childhood <laughs> it was you a did. lot of fun toys it was like fun that toys. but um yeah just a lot of craziness but yeah <laughs> that sounds great yeah. oh wow <laughs> um 
I was going to say, that's dune buggy. That's it's so fun. That is so fun. It's just the coolest thing. That is the coolest. But the ultralight for me. Is like, the ultralight is the... That. Yeah. Well, that sounds fun. You've, you've really had a wonderful life oh. with the family. Oh, so sweet. Just a lot of craziness, a lot of fun, always something going on. <laughs> well, that's great. Yeah. And, um, well, for right now, that will end chapter one. Okay. And we will be right back after a brief break for chapter two. Well, welcome back to chapter two of the Omnibus Show. We're here with Marissa Andretti. And Marissa, You've you've had a lot of great family stories. You have a new facility for the for the family business. Um, can you tell us about it? We do. Yeah. Um, so we are building in Fishers, about twenty minutes north of where we're currently located, mm -hmm. uh, which will be you know our new home for all of our racing series, essentially under one roof. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, seven That's a big roof. today. Yeah, exactly. Twenty racers. That's yeah, a big oh, roof. plus that. Yeah. So um, continuing to expand, uh, we're currently in probably about eighty-six thousand square feet, and we are going to be going to five hundred and seventy-five thousand square feet. That's amazing. Yeah, it's really, really incredible. Uh, we have a lot going into that. So. In addition to uh, the racing side of it, housing all of our series under one roof, we are also going to have a uh, authentic Italian restaurant with it. Are you really? Yeah, pretty excited. That's pretty for awesome. It. Yeah. I love Italian. I'm as waspy yeah. as can be, but I love Italian I love food. <laughs> I love Italian food. I love that. Um, and then we are also going to have a museum component to it, which is actually going to be called the Andretti Experience. That's fabulous. Yeah. So a That's lot, great. a lot going on. A lot going into that uh, a lot of growth happening but all wonderful things uh, so super excited and uh, I'm actually the one spearheading that uh, project in full and just working with all of our team members on it so there's there's a lot there I'm learning that's amazing. a lot <laughs> yeah that's a big project huge so now yes. you're your your construction project manager I I something yeah there's a there's a lot to it uh, working with a lot of wonderful groups to put you know the best of the best together and you know put everybody's minds together to to find the the most intelligent creative way to do everything because there's a lot of intricacies for for every bit of it um you know given the the high security of the race shop side but then also the uh you know the public facing elements and things like that and just um really working on a you know, top-notch employee experience as well. So having a full employee plaza, and we want to be able to have flexibility to host different events and things like that. That's amazing. That, that's just really incredible. Yeah, thank you. That really is incredible. I have to ask, when is the Italian restaurant opening? <laughs> Still working on an exact date for that, uh, but would likely be 2025. I don't know if it's okay. Q1 or shortly after. Is it Andretti's? Well, working on the name. Okay. Yes. Okay. More to come. <laughs> I was going to say, can I take the bolognese into the museum? <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that's just so wonderful, and it's it's so great to learn about your enterprise and what you're doing. That's just that's going to be a destination itself. Thank you. It really, we, really is. We really hope so, and we're trying to do as much as we can to truly create that and foster mm -hmm. that environment, and uh, you know on the, the hosting side of things, trying to do as much as we can for our, our sponsors and our partners, yes. uh, but also for the city and the state and, you know, all of ours, all of our uh, people within our network to, sure. to be able to have that flexibility in our space and be a resource for them. So it's a lot of fun. And we're going to have like watch parties and some cool stuff. So that oh, like wow. morning, noon or night, wherever we're racing around the world, we can have you know, employees, families come out, the city come out, whatever it may be to to bring everybody together and make it a cool, cool spot to have. That is so fun. <laughs> but, you know, you. Uh, without sounding too flattering, but truthfully is the Andretti family is is an important part, if, if I could get my pronouns right. The Andretti family is very important, is an important part of the history of Indianapolis, Indianapolis 500 and racing, part of our community. Thank you. You, you really, really have, have um, um, 
an incredible history with us here in central Indiana. And um, I think that a destination like that just, that's better than like growing up with those parks that I, you know, we'd go off with the rides and everything. Um, I love that. That would be very fun. <laughs> no, it will be very fun. You will definitely have to come up the, I will. the second we open uh, and experience all of the things, but super excited. And I think, uh, I think it'll, it'll be really, really cool <laughs> to be able to tie everything together. I, it just, it, <laughs> That's a fun experience, and you, the whole family and every age group and everything, it just exactly. that will just dovetail into just a lot of fun. Exactly, and uh, where we're located is, is fascinating as well because our, our neighbors are actually an airport, uh, and then on the other side of us is a nature preserve. So, um, Beautiful. Yeah, so, and the, the Nickel Plate Trail is going to be oh, okay. finished along that way as sure. well. So the Nickel Plate Trail will connect to the Monon and everything. I think it will end up being 47 or 48 miles long. Uh, so, you know, fun for bike rides to work and encourage walking and build walking trails around that area. Well, after that wonder Italian, wonderful Italian <laughs> food, I'm going to have to take a walk, right? Yeah, exactly. Or a bike. Yeah. All the way to Kokomo. Yeah, right. <laughs> Well, that's that's fabulous. I look forward to that. Thank you. And best wishes on your future with that. Thank you so much. You just Appreciate have so it. much going on. I just it's <laughs> incredible. Um, now in the the kind of more learning, because in the second chapter, I like to get to some learning um, aspects <clears throat> that um, our listeners can um, learn from you. Mm -hmm. Is if if someone was wanting to get involved in IndyCar or an auto sport racing team in management, um, what advice would you have for them in, in you know, starting out and progressing? What would be wise for them to get involved in, in towards management? Yeah, I mean, Track. I would, of course, yeah. I would say do your research, reach out, um, you know, search, say, for example, on our team, what we have available, reach out, um, get your foot in the door any way that you can and mm -hmm. work up from there because you might start in what you would consider to be a very small role one day, but you can easily grow uh, to, to any of the different areas that you'd want to further develop yourself. Um, I think what's, what's fascinating about what we do is, and I would say Andretti specifically, is that we, we are so diverse and we have so many different opportunities within our business that um, you know, if you, if you start one day, um, as you know, an engineer, you can, you can grow to either be on the road more, or, you know, if you're in a different phase of life, you can maybe be on our Indie Next program or like we, we would work with that individual to, to whatever fits their needs at that point in time mm -hmm. and things like that. So like, don't just think, oh, there's no shot because it doesn't say X, Y, and Z is available. Like try and get your foot in the door and grow from there. Oh, Ask yeah. questions, you know, be as, as persistent and open as possible to learning as well. And, um, I think anything is possible then for sure. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Um, thank you. Um, and then finally, for the last question, it's kind of usually, we've, you've already started into that, but my last question is, um, what is new for Andretti Sport? Now, you've told us about the new facility, which is just incredible. I just think that's just a, that would be something fun to go to, like, at least once a week. Um, Love that. But Please do. <laughs> you know, what, what, what's coming up that you would like to, to tell us? Um, just. Keep your keep your eyes eyes and ears peeled. Um, we we have a lot in the pipeline and coming down, so more to share in the coming months, hopefully, um, if not the next year. But definitely growth, um, as as is apparent with our new build, of course, and some new fun things coming up in that regard in terms of, you know, stories to tell and things like that on the sustainability side of things with our build. Sure. Um, so so more to come there. And, uh, yeah, just, just further, furthering our portfolio, let's say. <laughs> well, good for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And um, I will, we will keep an eye on that. And we'll, we'll also post any links that you'll have for our guests. And so Wonderful. that is it for this episode of The Omnibus Show.
with Marissa Andretti. And we are here in Feinstein's at Hotel Carmichael, who, is our, who are our sponsors. And we look forward to our next program with you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you enjoyed this program, please like, share and subscribe to continue the conversation. For the Omnibus Show newsletter, please sign up at theomnibusshow.com.